let's look at premenstrual syndrome and this paper from Human Reproduction. They looked at the global burden of premenstrual syndrome. This research covered around 204 countries and territories, revealing that PMS affects nearly 1 billion women worldwide, with cases increasing by 46.5% over three decades. This study used the data from the Global Burden Disease, a 2019 study analyzing prevalence and years lived with disability from PMS among women aged 10 to 54 years. Key findings showed that while the number of PMS cases increase significantly, importantly, research highlighting significant regional disturbances and the burden of PCOS is highest in low middle socioeconomic index countries and lowest in high socioeconomic index countries. In fact, Southeast Asia showed the highest prevalence of PMS, while Western Sub-Saharan Africa had the lowest. This study also found that the PMS prevalence peaks at around 40 to 44 years of age, emphasizing that we need intervention for women in this range age group. The challenge is that there are cultural factors, factors that prevent adequate reporting of data, particularly the regions where menstrual health is often stigmatized. In fact, this study also highlights the importance of addressing PMS not just as a health issue, but as a factor affecting overall quality of life, work and productivity, and societal participation. For patients, it validates that the widespread nature of PMS and it encourages open discussions about symptoms and treatment. For clinicians, it's, it's again an extremely important factor that we address and look at this as a much more serious matter.